Hello there, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to derive the formulas used for rotations in two dimensions. These equations can be used to rotate circles and also spheres. So, keep watching. So to start off, we need a circle in two dimensions with the center AB. Okay, we need two right angled triangles that have the same radius D. Both these right angle triangles will have an angle. So over here we have phi and we also have theta. Now these right angle triangles are going to form the points on the edge of the circle xy and x apostrophe and y apostrophe. Let's look at the right angle triangle with the angle phi. With these details over here, we can tell that its adjacent side is x minus a and its opposite side is y minus b. For the right angle triangle, which has the angle phi plus theta, we can tell that the adjacent side has the length x apostrophe minus a and that its opposite side has the length y apostrophe minus b. So now that we have this diagram and also two frames of reference, we can start doing the maths to find the formulas for rotations. Okay, so with the maths, let's start off by finding cos phi and also sine phi. Cos phi is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, and that is x minus a over d. This means that x minus a is d times cos phi because we multiply both sides of the equation by d and therefore x is a plus d times cos phi. With sine phi we have opposite over hypotenuse. That is y minus b over d. If we multiply both sides of the equation by d we get y minus b is d times sine phi. This means that y is b plus d times sine phi, as we add b to both sides of this equation. Now the next step is to derive cos phi plus theta and also sine phi plus theta. Cos phi plus theta is adjacent over hypotenuse and that is x apostrophe minus a over d. From here, we multiply both sides of this equation by d. So we get this over here. And then from here, we add a to both sides of the equation. This means that x apostrophe is a plus d times cos phi plus theta. Now let's look at sine phi plus theta, which is opposite over hypotenuse. This is going to be y apostrophe minus b over d. If we multiply both sides of the equation by d, from here, we get this. And then by adding b to both sides of this equation, we end up with y apostrophe is b plus d times sine phi plus theta. So we're closer to getting our rotation formulas because the point x apostrophe and y apostrophe is based on two angles and two frames of reference, okay? Now to simplify x apostrophe and y apostrophe we need these trigonometric identities over here. So let's simplify x apostrophe. It's going to be equal to a plus d times cos phi cos theta minus sine phi sine theta. This is because of this trigonometric identity over here. Now from here we get this, but d cos phi is x minus a, 
and d sine phi is y minus b. This means that x apostrophe is going to be equal to a plus x minus a times cos theta minus y minus b times sine theta. If the center of the circle is 0, 0, it has those coordinates, so a is 0 and b is 0, watch what happens. This a over here disappears, also this, and this b over here also disappears. So what we're left with is x apostrophe is x times cos theta minus y times sine theta. And this is going to be the coordinate for x apostrophe. Now let's turn our attention to y apostrophe. That is b plus d times sine phi plus theta. Because of this trigonometric identity over here, what we get is this, okay? And this can be transformed into this just below. Now since d cos phi is x minus a and d sine phi is y minus b, we get this over here. Now if the center of the circle is 0, 0, where a is 0 and b is 0, these b's over here disappear and also this a. So what we're left with is y apostrophe is x times sine theta plus y times cos theta, which is the same as this over here. So here are the formulas we use to rotate 2D objects. You can call them coordinates as well. The matrix notation for these coordinates are x apostrophe is cos theta minus sine theta, and you have x over here to the side, and y apostrophe is sine theta plus cos theta, and you have y over here to the side. That's because you're going to do x times cos theta, and then you're going to do minus y times sine theta. And also because you're going to do x times sine theta plus y times cos theta. So this is the matrix notation that you need to use if you want to rotate 2D objects. If this video has been helpful to you, make sure you are subscribed to my channel as I'll be making more videos. For help with your algebra or other proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.